back in service one more time. Yes. Thanking the Lord for all of his uh, He will be a living testimony. Amen. To be able to tell somebody what God can do. He, he, uh, he had to have somebody to speak for him. Oh, yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. We give honor to the Spirit of Christ. We thank God for his love and kindness. We thank him much for his grace and mercy. Thank God for each and every one of you that pressed your way out. Thank God for those that are watching by way of internet, whether by Facebook or YouTube. We certainly thank God for you. And we trust that something will be said to be a blessing to you. Also, would like to say how much we appreciate those that support us and have been supporting us down through the years. Thank you so much for all that you have done and what you will do in the future. If you are so inclined, you may make a donation to this ministry by way of PayPal. You can find us there uh, under my email. My email address is ministerdbush at gmail.com. Uh, also, you can use that email to send in Bible question or prayer request. Uh, I will take your prayer request very seriously and go to the throne of grace on your behalf. And I respond to all of my emails, so feel free to email us. You can also donate by the way of Cash App. Our cash tag is dollar sign, the Church of God in H. Again, thank you so much for all that you have done and whatever you might do in the future. Well, let's just see what the Word of God says because everything is going down but the Word of God. We'd like to invite your attention to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs, the uh, 18th chapter. Proverbs, the 18th chapter. And we will start reading at verse uh, 24. Proverbs, the uh, 18th chapter, and at verse 24. And the word of the Lord says, <clears throat> A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Uh, friendship is uh, one of our most treasured things that we can have in this life. And there's something special about a friendship that's different than any other relationship. Mm -hmm. Because a good friend is hard to come by. Mm -hmm. And 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 friendship is different from your blood relatives yes. relationships is because you chose your friends. You picked your friend. You didn't get to choose who your parents would be or who your grandparents would be. You didn't get to choose your siblings or your cousins, your aunts or your uncle, but your friends, you pick them. So, and what the Lord says, a man that hath friends must show himself friendly. So in order to have friends, you must put out a, a, a vibe, as it were, that would uh, attract uh, friendship. <laughs> now, um, most of us don't have as many friends as we think. Mm -hmm. We have uh, acquaintances. Yes. We have uh, associates. Yes. But when your back is up against the wall, that's when you really know who your friends are. Yeah. Yeah. A whole lot of folk will tell you, well, if you need me, call. Mm -hmm. but, but I found out in these 49 years that I've graced this earth, most folk that say that are lying. Yeah, yeah. Right. If you, you call them if you want to, <laughs> you get every excuse in the book if they have some. Mm -hmm. mm. so, so the Bible says, a man that has friends must show himself friendly. 
You must, you must make yourself available for friendship. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Oftentimes, our friendships, we have better relationship with them than some of our own relatives. And that is because we picked them. We chose our friends. Sometimes relatives get upset with that. Well, I'm your kin. Well, I look at how you treat me. <laughs> Would you join it with me now to St. John chapter 15? St. John chapter 15. We'll begin reading there at verse 12. St. John chapter 15. And at verse 12. 12. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. St. John chapter 15 and verse 12 and the word of the Lord says, This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Verse 13, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. Oh, that, that, that's love there. And I can attest to the fact that I have a few fellows that I call friends that did to me. And if I need them, every time I've had to call on them, they were there. But that's very few and far between. And a lot of folk will say they're your friends. So the word of the Lord says, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man would lay down his life for his friends. Verse 14 now, and ye are my friends. Well, watch this. If you do whatsoever I command you. See, a friend is going to be in your corner. Mm -hmm. Friend's not going to allow nobody to talk about you. That's right. We're not going to allow anybody to lie on you. Mm -hmm. And a true friend going to tell you the truth. He's not going to tell you what you need to hear. That's why a lot of folk don't have friends. You got a bunch of yes folk around you. Mm -hmm. you, you. You around here looking like a fool and they won't say nothing. Mm -hmm. That's not a friend. Mm -hmm. Ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Watch this. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord does. Mm -hmm. But I have called you friends. For I, for all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. A friend won't keep nothing from you. A friend is transparent. And Jesus was transparent with the disciples. He told them what his mission was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He told them that he was going to have to go down, go into Jerusalem and that he was going to die there. Yes. He told them and, and, and when he was getting ready to go off out the sea and go back into glory, he told them that they were going to endure persecution. Yes. It's a good friend. That's right. He was preparing them for what would come. Look at verse 16 now. Watch this now. Ye have not chosen me, but I chose you. I, I just told you, 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 you get to decide who your friends are going to be. And that's why sometimes those relationships are, are even better than our blood relationship because I decided who I want in my circle. Mm -hmm. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go forth, you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your soul should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask in the Father's name, ask the Father in my name, May I give it you? A friend don't mind him. If he has it, it's yours. He's not going to hold back. It's a true friend. Now, now, now I, I, I wanted to kind of lay that track for what we really want to talk about today. Because remember now, if a man has, he that has friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that's sticking closer to the brother. Go with me now to St. James, the book of James, chapter 4. 
and verse 4. So I just wanted to, to kind of show you how you become uh, friends. You got you to gotta, you gotta, you know, make arrangements to be friends. Friendship does not just happenstance. You must show yourself friendly. Mm -hmm. St. James chapter 4 and at verse 4. Amen, amen. All right, watch this now. And the word of the Lord says, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, listen now, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Well, look, look, listen now. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Now, if a man will have friends, he must show himself friendly. So if you are friends with the world, you initiated that relationship. You made it, made yourself accessible. So, so in the John, if you read the chapter, the, 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 the whole book of John, John is a very blunt, he, you know, he, he, he's straightforward. So he's coming out and just saying this thing, you adulterers and adulteresses. Because you see, you have some folk that want to claim to be Jesus' friend. And yet their lifestyle is contrary to the spirit of God. What, look, so watch this now. You, adult, he, he, you adulterers and adulteresses. No, you're not. He's not like, you mean you didn't know that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. That makes you an arch enemy of God. Because when Jesus was here, he wasn't everybody's friend. Though he was, he was healing the sick, opening blind eyes, feeding the hungry, folks still hated him. The world hated him. Now watch this now. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is, an, is the enemy of God. And we have this go-along to get-along spirit out in the world today. Folk don't want to, they, 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 they don't want to tell the truth because they don't want to offend anybody. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I need you to know, if you study the Bible, you will know the gospel is offensive. Because the gospel makes you look at yourself. And folk would rather be lied to than to take a good look in the mirror. That's why you have a bunch of jelly back honey bun preachers up just telling folk what they want to hear. But God is a holy God. And he requires a holy people. And when a preacher come along and preach that, well, he's not going to be popular. See, you, you have this, 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 what they call the ecumenical movement, you know, uh, 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 and that is to where, where, where everybody can just come along because we believe in Jesus. And even though you doing something, even though you, you, you accept some things I don't accept, we ought to just get together and overlook that. Mm -hmm. No, I, I don't go along to get along. I, I, it's just not in me. I stayed at home first. You know, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I will stay at home. No, I'm not sorry. I stay at home first because God is not getting any glory out of that. Mm -hmm. No, you know, I, I don't pick on people, but I'm gonna tell you the truth mm -hmm. because the Bible says you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Mm -hmm. A lie can't free. Mm -hmm. What good if we go up here lying to you? Mm -hmm. so, so now watch this. Look, look, look. Now he says here. Know ye not that the friendship of the world. See, when you really truly get saved, when you really and truly give your life to the Lord, you become enemies with the world. Mm -hmm. See, your folk, your, your own family, oh wait, you know, I think he better than us. Mm -hmm. No, I, I don't think I'm, I, I'm trying to get to hell. Mm -hmm. So I got to put some stuff down. Mm -hmm. So, well, man, you don't want no beer. No, I don't, I don't drink no more. Mm. 
No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not knocking with you. I got the Bible says, "Save yourself from this untoward generation." So, so now, so now he said that know ye not that the friendship with the world is in that makes you a, a, a rival of God. When you plug, so, and, 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 and we got to understand something here. Because a lot of uh, false prophets and cult leaders will take this very verse to justify their, their, their cults. Mm. I'm, I, I, we, we are, I'm talking more about the world system, the way the world believes. Just like you have all of this, 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 uh, this, this great, this homosexual movement. The world at large has embraced that. Mm -hmm. And if you say anything against it, mm -hmm. they're coming for you. Mm -hmm. And so the church, for the most part, have gone silent. Mm -hmm. Won't say nothing. Uh, no, you got to, I, if it's in this Bible, I can preach it. Mm -hmm. In fact, the Bible, he told me to preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. Reprove and rebuke. Exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. I got to call a thing a thing. Right. It doesn't matter if it hurts your feelings. That's right. That's right. It's true. Uh -huh. true. But we would rather look the other way. Don't say nothing because I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. Uh, oh, look, go to go to Proverbs real quick. Go back over to Proverbs. Amen. Amen. Proverbs chapter 27. Proverbs chapter 27 and at verse 17. Amen, amen. Proverbs chapter 27 and at verse 27. Now watch this now. The word of God says, iron sharpening iron. So now, a, a friend, a real friend, wants to see you do better. So he, a real friend will have tough conversation with you. If you're out of order, he's going to tell you. Iron sharpens iron. He not, if you're having a bad day, well, he'll try to pick you up, yes. But if you're wrong, he's going to tell you you're wrong. Iron sharpens iron. Look, watch this. So a man sharpening the countenance of his friend. He will sharpen the countenance, the, the look. See, your friend wants the best for you. So he's going to make you look good. So if I got to, see, in order to sharpen something, that require it, it's, it's some abrasive. There's going to be some abrasiveness there. Because I, I, I want you to look good. Iron sharpened iron. So a man sharpening the countenance of his friend, he's going to tell you. He's not just going to tell you what you want to hear. Mm. And you know, a lot of people will ask you, and they ask you stuff and get mad with you because of what you tell them. Mm. Come on, man. That's true. Well, now, you, if you know me for any length of time, you ought to know. Don't ask me something. Don't ask me if you don't want the truth. Now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, how, how, how did it look? Well, now, uh, <laughs> you always got some negative to say. <laughs> now, you, you, you have my opinion. I'm going to tell you the truth. Because mm -hmm. I'm sharpening. I, if I was a good friend, I'm not going to let you leave the house. Look, that don't match. That's right. You got polka dots and stripes that don't know. <laughs> You know, that don't, that don't go with your body. Now, come on. I, I, oh. hmm. So, and when you see these folks, when you go to Walmart, there's a whole lot of folks got some fake friends. Okay. I'm sharp. I'm, go, go to 1 Corinthians now. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Amen, amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. So, so now, now so it, it, not, the, the friendship of the world you know, if you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy of God. Yeah. And how did you become a friend of the world? You had to make yourself available to that friendship. 
So you got to believe like they believe. You got to act like they act. You got to think like they think. But now you become an enemy. Yeah, you gained a friend, but now you're an enemy of God. First Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 15 and at verse 33. Watch this now. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Now the word of the Lord said, be not deceived. In other words, don't let nobody fool you. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody fool you. Watch this. Evil corruption, evil communication, mm -hmm. corrupt good man. Yes, yes. That's why you got to watch who you hang out with. Amen. Mm -hmm. You can't just run with anybody. That's right. Because evil communication corrupts good man. Those people, those folks will change you before you change them. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to witness. I, I'm not going to a nightclub to witness to nobody. Mm -hmm. Now before you know it, you in there bobbing your head. Mm -hmm. Ain't been a guy that some, some, a drink. You ain't have no business. Oh. Mm -hmm. Be not, now because he said, be not deceived. Don't let, don't, don't fool yourself now. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Now, when I gave my life to the Lord, I had to pull back. And if you get something in you for real, the light that's in you going to impact the folk that's around you. Because mm -hmm. light, darkness, and light don't meet. You know when you're in the bed and somebody coming in and turn the light on, you, you pull the covers up over your head. How is it that you can get along so well with the world. How is that? And you claim to be some child of God. The, the, uh, in Amos, you don't have to go there, I just quoted Amos 3 and 3. The Bible says, how can two walk together except they agree? I don't smoke weed. When I'm in a car for, for with a Cause you know there's a such thing as a contact high. You didn't have to quit, but you still. Mm. <clears throat> a fella said I'm ride the well. I'm, I'm not gonna go and ride the bank. I'm just gonna ride with all y'all going to jail. Mm. And the Bible tells us over Romans uh, twelve two again. If you're taking notes, you can just jot it down. He said, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Mm -hmm. Be ye transformed. You got to change. By the renewing of your mind. See, the world has a, a, a mindset and then there's a godly mindset. And they like oil and water. They, 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 don't, they don't mix. But you have a religion now is trying to mix it. You know, how many times have y'all heard come as you are? Mm -hmm. And some folks even foolish enough to say the Bible say come as you are. And that ain't in the Bible. That's right. come on. The nerve. Uh -huh. You know, they hear some do you hear something so much and you actually think it's in there. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's, that's, mm -hmm. that's not in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You can't come to God any kind of way. You got to humble yourself. Mm -hmm. I have now my will Lord. I'm I'm no no no. God has to be interested in you. And what interests God in you is repentance. Mm -hmm. When you repent, when you say, I'm not worthy, God, I'm sorry for living any kind of way. Now God can, now God can receive you. That's right. But some of us, we, well, he's just gonna have to take me like I am. No, he's not even he not even. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, go back to St. John chapter 15. Amen, amen. Something else I want you to see there. Amen, amen. The friendship of the world. Now that's the enemy of God. Now you got to understand how did I get? I made myself available. Cause you know it's still in your Bible. Now the Bible says that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation, and, and old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. You know, now some of y'all or some of us, we, you know, we just put on some new clothes. We didn't take no bath. 
You 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 put it, you spray it on some cologne. You didn't take no bath. You, you and that that just made it worse. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> that's right. <clears throat> All right. Okay, St. John chapter fifteen. All right. Now let's go to go to verse eighteen. Verse eighteen. St. John chapter fifteen at verse eighteen. Amen. Amen. All right. Watch this now. The word of God says, "If the world hate you." You know that it hated me before it hated you. So, so now if you really a follower of Jesus Christ, see that's why everybody claim to be Christian. They, they not no Christian. Because everybody loved them. But how can everybody love you but they hated Jesus? Mm. You ought to read this Bible now. The prophets, they hated the prophets. They killed the prophets. The the. After Jesus, they killed Jesus. But he, he, they, they couldn't hold him down. After three days and three nights, he got up. And the, the, the apostles that he left here, they killed them. Now, if you're saying what they say and doing what they did, how are you? It, it, it's not going to work out too well for you now. And you have to come to terms with that. But a whole lot of folk don't want to accept that. So I gotta figure out how to, I can can be a friend of the world, but when you do that, you become an enemy of God. That's right. I don't know about you, but I'd rather be a friend of God and an enemy with this world. Now look, look what he says here. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Look at verse nineteen. If he were of the world, the world would love his own. Not just, just for when a fella trying to change. Oh, he get all kind of hate. Yes, he does. He trying to change his way to folks. That's why folks, because people don't want to see, you know, it's a sad thing. When people don't want to see you doing better. They want, they want you flat on your back. They want you down and broke. But when you're trying to do better for yourself. Now, but... But what long as long as they can put their foot on your neck, they they, they love that. Mm -hmm. But when you say I, I'm tired of this, I'm gonna do better. No, now he thank he all that. Mm -hmm. You are instead of talking, you you ought to celebrate that. Mm -hmm. That's right. Look, okay, okay. Now so he says now, if he were of the world, the world would love his own. What what look? I says because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hated you. Are you chosen by God? Or do everybody, everybody still? In one place, the Bible said, Whoa, unto you, when, when all men speak well of you. I check, now, I check if you're chosen now. Some folk think they chose, but they're really not. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 20. Amen, amen. St. John chapter 15, that verse 20. Now, watch this. Remember the word that I said unto you the servant is not greater than his Lord. Look, watch this, watch this. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Mm. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Persecution is a part of this way. Persecution is a part of walking in holiness. And folk don't like persecution. So now I got to figure out how to get along with folks. So I want to become a friend of the world. If a man has friends, he must show himself friendly. So now I got to show myself friendly to the world. And in doing so, I become an enemy of God. What have I accomplished? I have not accomplished one thing. I remember uh, when Jesus was getting ready to, it was the night in Gethsemane. And he, you know, he, he asked Peter, do, do you love me? And Peter said, yeah, I, I, yes, I, yeah, I love you. And, and Jesus told him, Peter, you're going to deny me now. Oh, no, 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 no. I, oh, you're going to deny me before the cock crow. You're going to deny me three times. Mm -hmm. You find it in uh, Matthew 26, about verse 69, 70, somewhere in there. But, and Peter, 
you know, the first time they came to Peter, I'm like, I don't know. Then they came to him again, I don't know. And the third time, he was adamant. Started cussing. He, he, he was adamant about it. And he heard that rooster crow. The Bible says he wept bitterly. But Peter got a chance to redeem himself. Over in Acts, the fifth chapter, well, it really Acts, the fourth chapter, they told him, don't you preach in that name. And then in the fifth chapter of the book of Acts, they, re they arrested him and said, didn't we tell you not to preach in that name? And then Peter said, we ought to obey God rather than man. So, 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 he failed the first time. Yes. You might have failed one time. But the next opportunity you get, you better stand for God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stand flat-footed for God. Amen. He, 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 he messed up the first time and that, that hurt his heart. But oh, now I got another chance. I'm going to stand up for God now. And Peter stood flat-footed for the rest of his life. In fact, it cost him his life. That's right. And I need you to know that we're, we're starting to see the beginnings of persecution for the church. Will you stand? Or, or is the friendship of this world more valuable to you? I'm getting ready to close here. Go to 1 John. The first epistle of John. And I got to get ready to let you go. 1 John. Chapter 1. Amen. Amen. First John. Chapter 1. First John. Chapter 1. And, and uh, we'll just pick it up at verse 3. First John. Chapter 3. Now, now Jesus taught them, the disciples, mm -hmm. this lesson on friendship. And, and, and we, we, we're going to see here now that they, they, they finally got this thing. Look at 1 John chapter 1 and at verse 3. And the word of the Lord says, That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us. Fellowship and friendship can be synonymous. That you might have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you that your joy may be full. That your joy may be Four. Watch this. Look at verse 5. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. So, so you, you, you can't be a fence trap. Either you're with God or you're against him. See, in God, is, is there's light, and in him is no darkness at all. That's why you can't be a friend of this world and be a friend of God. If you're a friend of this world, you're an enemy of God. Look at verse 6. Watch this now. And we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness if we say, look, watch this. If we say we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that, that's tight there. I mean, it is what it is. If we say, a whole lot of folk around here claiming to be some Christian, and they walk, they, they walk in darkness. Mm -hmm. I pastor the Aaron call you know, lie. The Bible said you was a liar. Mm -hmm. That's in your Bible if you hadn't told the page of that. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Look at verse 7. Amen, amen. But if we walk in the light 
as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. We're walking in the light. Now, now watch it. We, we, that means we, we have, we, we're working on our perfection. We may have some hiccups along the way, but I'm walking in the light. Well, watch this. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son. Look, look, look. This is why it's so important to be a, a friend of God. The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. His blood cleanses us from all sin. So, so when, when I'm wrong, I don't try to cover it. I just plead the blood. I don't make excuses. I just plead the blood. I don't justify myself. But the only way that the blood will work, you got to be washed in it. So I got to be baptized in his name. That's how I'm washed in the blood. I remember the friendship of the world makes you an enemy of God. And he that hath friends must show himself friendly. So, so have you shown yourself friendly mm -hmm. to this world? That's, a, that's something for us to think about. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. We'll leave it right there. We thank God for you. We thank God for all things in the name of the Lord Jesus. I hope I said something to help somebody. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> I, uh, Still, we have to go to uh, West Memphis, Arkansas to pick up my daughter. And she's been up there hanging out with her grand, her grandparents. Lord help, we're gonna have to deprogram them when she gets <laughs> back. <laughs> but, uh, so next Sunday we won't uh, we won't have service, but you know we'll be back on after after. Amen. There'll be no other words or announcements. Let us all speak. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling into present your father before the presence of his glory with the exceeding joy. To the only wise God I say to be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. And the people of God say, Amen. 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 Amen.